This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Recently, due to your request, I've done a series of videos looking at how different types of weapons can be used optimally to damage certain types of vehicles and generally how the damage system works in DCS. You can see other videos here, we've got warhead splash damage versus vehicle armor types. So different armor types are different aspects. How much does HE and blast frag damage do to certain vehicles? How close does an LBG have to get to a tank to kill it and so on? Aircraft cannon accuracy empirically measuring exactly how accurate each gun is at a certain range with the parameters removed. Aircraft gun ammo type versus armor type. So we're using the five or six different types of gun ammo against different types of armor at different aspects. How effective is each time of ammo because that was a, such a big one we had to do an extra video. And how does different rocket type versus different armor type react which are the most efficient rockets for certain types of armor that covers just about everything and we're tying it up with what i consider will probably be the last video today and today is armor piercing gun ammo versus armor aspect it's the last piece of the puzzle that needs putting in to fill in our full understanding of how the air to ground damage system works in dcs world february 2021 so We've got four times 18C tank killers here with their GAL 8 30mm Gatling guns. Each has 10% of ammo. It's just the lowest amount of ammo I could get in. The gun is about, about 100 rounds, 105 rounds. A combat mix that is mixed depleted uranium with high explosive incendiary and something else. They're going to be facing a modern main battle tank at different aspects. Front armor, side armor, rear armor, top armor. So with the same amount of ammo from just about the same range. What is the difference in damage that we get? And then the same thing scaled down. We've got an F-16 with an M-61 20mm Gatling gun, armor-piercing rounds, because it's just most suitable. Now, there's no point of putting a 20mm gun against a tank, because I can tell you now, it won't do any damage. It might do some damage to the top, but almost certainly nothing. And I know that because of the other videos we've done. So, we're going to put the F-16 against um, an IFE, a Bradley. It's just lesser armor than an MBT, and we see what we get. We'll start with the A10C and the main battle tank and see how we go. Welcome aboard, value viewers. Like I was saying to the streamers just now, this is not, not an excuse to just act like a five-year-old and shoot things. This is valued DCS science. So, let's get everything on. On. Gun on. 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 Stand by. And fire. That looked very cool. Zero damage, and exactly what we thought. You know, I don't know what it is about 150 mil armor. No amount of depleted uranium 30 mil is going through that. Next side aspect and fire. How do you feel about that, RC? <laughs> oh, oh, he got him. That's, I that's a good model. What tank is that? That's the latest that's, uh, Israeli Minerva. Yeah, it's really a world model. Wow. Good looking. I didn't really didn't think we. I mean, that is only a hundred rounds. Uh, that's about thirty depleted uranium, but it nailed it. I really didn't think it would do that well. If I'm going to be honest, but yeah. okay. Um, we may have to readjust this. We may have a two. We may have chosen a too powerful gun. I think we can probably imagine what's going to happen here. But three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, he's he's dead, isn't he? This is the top. I'm pretty sure we know what's going to happen, but let's do it anyway because science. Man, that's cool! Very good, on to the F-16. Okay, value viewers, F-16C with an M-61 armor pits and rounds the front of an IFE and fire! And that's more like 50 rounds, because the less rounds we can fit in the plane is just going to give us slightly better data, just trust me. Uh, no damage from the front as expected. Next, armor piercing versus side! And fire! No damage. How about that? It's definitely on my pit. I'll go back and check afterwards, but I'm it's pretty not sure. It's really hitting the. It's hitting like between the turret and the main yeah, body. Well, yeah, but I mean, I've done all this before. It still counts. Yeah. It still counts. I know it looks weird, That's but I'll do it again with my. You know, fully lower down. Watch this, value viewers. Okay, I've got it right on the floor now. Yeah, it's no damage. It's no damage. Simple as that. Rear armor. Fire! Wow, that was unexpected. No Is damage it? with armor piercing. How about that? Yeah. Right. We did just check. It's definitely firing armor piercing 20 mil ammo right from the top. Top armor. Fire! Smashed it. 
Right, that's shown the different types of guns with all the different aspects. Let's go and look at the data. Welcome back to the data. We're looking at this table here, armor aspects, with a 30 mil cannon at, you know, 50 to 100 feet away. Combat mix, that's, uh, well, I've told you what it was earlier, at the front, side, rear, and top of an MBT. We got zero on the front, 100% on the side, 100% on the rear, 100% on the top. It's not, I mean, it's sort of useful data, but it's real data. That's what it comes up with. It's pretty much the best we can do. Uh, some of you have said, I'll get more control if I used ground cannons like the Zeus 23s and stuff like that against these vehicles because I control the ammo better but it's not a good idea it's not proper test of the aircraft cannons that's what we want, really want to test the aircraft cannons and for an IFV more suited to a 20 mil cannon 20 mil cannon uh, again 50 to 100 feet armor piercing selected front was zero side was zero rear was zero top was 100 so we've empirically proved to you guys that armor aspect makes a difference completely makes a difference in this case it protects the ship completely apart from the top in this case with this more powerful armor piercing cannon it can protect the ship from the front only but not from the side rear and the top that's probably going to be the end of the series i hope that was useful and see you later